all right guys so we're on to the next news of the day and that is a new update regarding the gavi situation now about a few weeks ago on a wednesday night gavi released a statement detailing you know a current life update saying dear everyone i've been spending time reflecting on these past couple of months and the years before having meaningful conversations with god my counselors family friends and myself about the mistakes i've made and the man I want to be on this earth. There's a lot that I want to say to so many people, so I hope this message finds its way to those who understandably feel confusion and disappointment. A few years ago, my marriage began to fall apart. Instead of leaning on God and facing the situation, I acted outside of the boundaries of my marriage. I began communicating and exchanging inappropriate photos with several women on social media. These were conversations between adults, and even though I never met any of these women in person, it was inexcusable and wrong. I regret these mistakes, I take full accountability, and I apologize to everyone I have hurt in my actions. Now, as I continue to reflect and wrestle with the choices I've made, I ask that God may continue to use this period of my life to show me things that I have needed to learn so I can become the man that he has called me to be. I'm using this time to work on myself, grow in faith, and continue to be present in my children's lives. I want to express my deepest thanks for your support and grace I have received from so many of you. It is incredibly humbling, and I look forward to reconnecting with all of you in the weeks to come and repaying the kindness and compassion you have shown me during this chapter of my life. Much love and respect, Gabi. Now, before I continue on, I just want to say that I know a lot of people are going to call this gossip, which is completely untrue and a bit disingenuous to the people that were ultimately affected by the situation. Gossip by definition is casual or unconstrained conversation or reports about other people typically involving details that are not confirmed as being true. And in this case, when I was covering the story from the beginning, I mean, I didn't want to jump the gun at the start just because information can fly left and right and we can't confirm anything as being true. However, as the days dragged on, guys, I mean, I waited, I let the story fleshed out and you know, ultimately Reach did put out a statement regarding the situation. So, I mean, just because someone might, you know, speak on your favorite artist or person or whatever it is, and when the facts are coming out, I mean, at the end of the day, if the details are accurate, then the details are accurate. And at the same time, part of me didn't want to put out the video just because I knew people were going to call this out and just say that it was gossiping. But at the end of the day, guys, I mean, I think the people around CHH have a due diligence to call these things out just because stuff like this is just not Christ-like. And I do believe that I am on fair ground when I'm just reporting on stuff like this. But anyways, you know, what would you guys make of his statement? Is it too soon to put out an apology? Also as well, one thing that I wanted to address as well is that a common thing I would see in either, you know, my comment section or comment section of other videos is people saying that, well, Gavi's not perfect, stop trying to crucify him, we all sin and everything like that. And by definition, that is true. I mean, under Christ, when we want to turn away from our sin, there is definitely forgiveness for all even for the most broken person. However, at the same time, when people are coming out and saying, well, we all sin, we all sin, no one's perfect. In a sense, it does diminish, you know, the seriousness of what happened in the situation and just disregarding the victims just because his wife, Bree, and other people were hurt in the situation. Saying we all sin is true in itself. However, when we compare two sins, you know, one such as, you know, stealing and then one such as murdering, you know, the difference is one sin carries out a heavier weight of consequences than another sin. So something such as stealing, you know, the thief, if they get caught, they're going to face jail time and the person, whoever was affected by the theft, they they directly themselves are going to be affected. However, something like murder, I mean, if someone were to murder someone, then once again, the person will get caught. However, the person that lost their life, not only does it affect them, obviously, but it also affects their loved ones and the people that they see day to day. And so there are different sins that carry different consequences. And so again, while for a lot of people, Gavi is just their favorite artist. I mean, he he's my favorite artist as well. You know, at the same time, we can't just ignore the fact that people were hurt and there are just some people that will not ever see Gavi in the same light again. I mean, I'd imagine if you were to tell that to that person's face, they just wouldn't see it that way at all. So to say that everyone does sin is true, 
But at the same time, it's complacent and reckless in itself to not address the situation and not discussing ways to prevent this from happening in the future. There's a lot of damage that's been done, guys. So pray for the people that were affected, such as his wife, Bree, and just the other women and all that. Now, what do you guys think about this statement? Is it too soon to put an apology out to the public or is the damage already done? There are a mix of feelings from people who either don't trust and accept his apology or people that are taking his apology as a sign of growth. I think considering the damage that was done, regaining the trust of the public isn't something that's going to be an overnight process, as some people may perhaps take this apology as a move to save his music career. You know, is he truly moving in the right direction sincerely or are the people going to be lied to again? Because in response to this apology, Gavi's wife responded to this because even though the information regarding this entire situation came to light to be true, we never got to hear any parts of Bree's side, even though all the details were confirmed. And so she finally chose to respond by saying, I have kept my silence for years in order to protect my family and marriage. I have been focusing on my healing, but I no longer want to sit back as the dishonesty continues. The lack of full ownership and true apology has been extremely hard to stomach. I was in a marriage where I fought for it, with every ounce of me. Was I perfect? Absolutely not. What was done in my marriage, I did not deserve. This goes beyond explicit photos being sent all throughout our marriage. This is about infidelity, emotional abuse, and more. I was being emotionally abused and told that it was my fault, manipulated scriptures to put blame on me for his cheating and the cause of his sin. I was really in a broken place and I victimized myself so I would apologize repeatedly to him for causing him to cheat. Mid-2020, he then began an affair with someone I had communicated to him multiple times that I was uncomfortable with him working together with her. I have come to find out that they had expressed feelings to each other shortly after and have continued a romantic relationship. This has been exhausting and the false narrative continues to be communicated. I will continue on my healing journey and a part of healing is the whole truth. Even when the truth hurts, it's necessary for genuine healing to begin for all who are involved. And, you know, she's not lying here, guys. I mean, if we're going to move on from this, then the whole truth has to be told. And even though, you know, people might not like it because it's their favorite artist, you know, at the same time, it's just part of the process. Like they say, you know, the truth hurts. And so part of moving on is just, you know, telling the truth on both sides. And it's great that she could come out and just speak on it just because when the news first broke out, I mean, you know, it was mostly coverage towards just, you know, Gavi and uh, Catafint and everything like that. Just because obviously that's really all the information we had at the time. But uh, for Brie to finally give her input and just feel comfortable enough to speak on it and everything like that, it's definitely a great move in the right direction. And, you know, like she said, even when the truth hurts, it's necessary for genuine healing to begin for all who are involved. So at the end of the day, guys, me personally, I would definitely like to see growth and reconciliation at some point in the situation one day. Because as followers of Christ, one of the things that allows us to grow in our walk is redemption. And without it, God can't help us change our hearts whatsoever. And for any person that used to support Gavi and just can't forgive him for what he did, this is not an attempt to defend him whatsoever, I just want to make that clear, but this video is just a clear attempt at trying to present and update you know, the story on what's happening at the moment and present both sides now that we have Bree's piece of the story. And from here, we do need to pray and give thought to if change or turnaround can happen in this situation, just because I think that anyone at the very least would agree that we don't want this behavior to linger and affect any other potential people in the future. So for me, I think that Gavi addressing this and Brie, you know, speaking out uh, is a step and hope in the right direction. But what do you guys make of it? Is Gavi dead to you guys or at the very least? Should there be a point of reconciliation? Let me know below, guys, and peace.